Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to continue the project configurations, project configuration series. So the last tutorial you have seen how to set up the platform or you can say how to install JDK and all at your machine. So how to make your PC ready to install Java application. So we have done that things like uh, install the we have released the first step. So install Java development kit is done or will provide the complete series so you can watch the previous video and this is the second video of the series so in this video we will continue the IDE configuration so for IDE I am going to use the STS tool which is I always prefer because we don't need to integrate may one and other things internally it will all the packages all the things are combined already in the package or you can use the Eclipse also but in this video as we are using in our project most of time the STS tool so I will suggest you to download the STS tool and install it so how can you download the STS tool you just go and click on the link when you click on the link it will, re it will redirect you to on the uh, official side of the STS tool here you can select according to your operating system as we are using Windows so just click on this uh, burger icon and you can click on the zip when you click on the zip the zip is the tool is going to be downloaded in this zip spring tools 3 zip will download i am not going to download it because i have already this thing you can see here this bundle will download after you finish the download it just you need to right click on the after the downloading you just need to right click and extract here and just follow the next step it's going to be extract so it will take some time just minimize it and read the next step so the very first step in the id configuration is download sts tool and the second extract the zip file which we are going to in the process and the follow the path the sts and this bundle and run the application these are the some basic steps so we are going to execute this step so I'm going to explain you in the very next video we will, I will show you how to import project in your IDE in your STS and then the server configuration and then the database configuration and import data and then after the configuration of the database uh, MySQL you have to import the data in your MySQL and finally run your project. So let's wait to finish it. I think it's done almost done. So it's done and you can see the STS bundle extracted and you just double click on this. You just escape these two folder legal and uh, pivotal uh, just to go in this STS 3.91 uh, release. Just double click on this and you can see the icon STS icon here. You can run the icon from double click on double click by this or you can make a shortcut here for the future use. It will run only when you have the JDK version 1.8 or more than this. So I have already in the previous video we just installed this my JDK and all the things. So it will run easily. Let's wait to run it. Okay, so once you launch this, it will open like this, and this is not a home screen. It will uh, I have already this so. Uh, in your case it will open the home screen first this is called the dashboard dashboard and uh, for now I'm gonna remove this uh, my tomcat as well so I'm gonna close this I have the project So it will take some time to reconfigure okay so it will uh, initially it would look like this so this is your ID here in the next video I will see how to import the video how to import the project inside your uh, 
uh, project like uh, if you want a project from code one as we send you the RAR file so how can you extract the RAR file and how can you import the RAR file in your uh, STS tool thank you